folks. I am back with movie number 15. Actually, no, I'm lying to you. I'm back with movie number 16 for the October Haunted Month of Horror Reviews. 15 was on Beavers, and that was yesterday's review if you haven't seen it. Such a freaking fun movie. I cannot say that enough. The movie we're going to do today is one that one of the reasons I'm a big fan of Joe's Horror Group, which... If you're seeing these videos, there's a good chance you're on that as well, because it's 4,000, almost 4,000 strong. Is because every now and then you'll see people reference a movie that you've not heard of, you're not familiar with. As much as I hunt down Amazon Prime for unique fricks of stuff I haven't seen before, every now and then stuff does sort of slip to the cracks. So, I think it was Annie in the group posted that she was watching a movie called Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Now, I'm a big fan of some party massacre movies, Salati House Massacre movies, House on Salati. Like, they're fun. They're fun for what they are. Fun off trash, the thrasher flicks. They're not comedic, though. I mean, they might be bad, so far bad, they're funny in some pieces, but they're not meant to be comedies. This movie, though, clearly was meant to be a horror comedy, and it, it lives up to the bill. It is actually, if I didn't know it wasn't trauma, I would have just thought it was trauma. It's not. It's not trauma, but... It, it has that, that sense of humor to it, that mystique to it, except even more so. Like, maybe even more. Maybe, I think they even do stuff in this movie that, like, Trom would be like, no, you know, I think that's going a little bit too far. But this movie, in, if you're asking yourself, wait a second, dude, Bro Party Massacre 3, what happened to 1 and 2? Did you go back and see them? Like, were you watching this that sequence? That's just crazy talk. I'm not watching that sequence. I didn't go back and see them because they don't exist. It is sort of the Leonard Part 6 ideology, um, where they just throw something up there and make it happen. This movie, though, they do explain the massacre 1 and 2, and the kill in the first one was Motherface. Motherface. Then the kill in the second one was Daughter of Motherface, and the third one, I think, is Sister of Motherface. I don't care, well, Twin Sister. I'm not spoiling it. This is, again, this is like Zombie It's one of those movies that... Even if you get some spoilers to it, it's not gonna. It's not gonna tell you about the bag of oranges. That might be an annoying spoiler. You'll have to figure out about that yourself, and then you'll never look at citrus quite the same way. It is just fun. It can't be. Listen, Andrew WK is in it. Okay, so there you go. There's that. There is robots in it. There are very weird pranks in it. People scared of stuffed doggies in it. Ghosts. Hulk-like individuals, like, I can't tell you the amount of stuff that this movie jumps around on. Patton Oswalt's probably the biggest name in it, um, I guess unless you think Andrew W.O.K. Okay, is bigger, I don't think so, like, um, but, I don't, but that, it's just, it's just fun. It is, if you're not a horror movie fan, you're definitely not gonna like it, because, let's just say there's a ghost fetus at one point. Hashtag ghost feed, ghost fetus. I almost was going to put that up when I was, um, after I saw the scene in which this happened. See, I didn't know this was going to be a movie that was going to make these reviews. That was just me doing my random, you know, what the hell, I read about it, let's check it out, let's see how it goes. But once I saw it was going to be a review, I, I, I have to talk about it. I couldn't do that hashtag because I think people might interpret that a completely different way. You see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, the vegan, the murder, this bunny, it's, I can't, it's so absurd. Like, it makes, it makes something like Zombievers look like it was written by freaking Hemingway, to be honest with you. But the absurdity is what made it great. It's not a movie you watch to get caught into the plot. You're just like, okay, where are they going to go next? Really? That's what they're going to do next? Oh, they're doing that? Like, one joke in it is, like, the guy's trying to create a bus that he's going to drive around, like a bookmobile for children, but he wants to bang their mind. That's his mind. That's his terminology. Bang their mind. Sort of, I want to fill up their mind with all this information. However, all he keeps saying is, I can't wait to get children to my bang bus. And people interpret that very differently, as I know you would too. Um, and horror movie fans might know of bang bus, but that's a whole different freaking group, I suppose. It's just fun, man. If you're looking for something, this is a good... You got a bunch of friends together, you want to watch something real absurd that you don't have to pay attention to. Meaning if you miss five minutes, you're like, oh no, what happened to that character? Where'd they go? The practical effects are done really well. Um, there's some special effects like ghosts and stuff, but <coughs> the majority of the scenes are all practical effects. And I can't imagine they had a very big budget in what they did, but they pulled it off really well. So, movie number 16. So we're more than halfway there. Dude... 
Grove Party Massacre 3. It's on Amazon Prime. That's how I saw it. It's not a movie I necessarily look to own. No, no. Unless it came in hard pack, which then I'd have to own it because I get hard pack. But if, you, if, if you're into fun movies, if you're into that cheese element of comedy, of comedy horror, um, just go check it out. I think you'll like it. So far, with 16 thumbs ups all the way. And a lot of them, I'm trying to make them available for screen streaming online. So, in case you're interested, comment down, comment down below if you've seen it. And I'm noticing in the video, my cat's trying to be a star. You know, say hi to Sebastian, everybody. And you guys have a good one.